of the Bellerophon, killed in the same battle when anxious Spain, along her rocky shore, from cliff to cliff returned the sea fight's roar, when flash succeeding flash, tremendous broke the haze incumbent, and the clouds of smoke, as off the volume rolled away, thy mean, thine eye, serenely terrible, was seen, my gallant friend. Hark! The shrill bugle calls, is the day one. Alas, he falls he falls, his soul from pain, from agony release hear his last murmur, let me die in peace yet still, brave cook, thy country's grateful tear, shall wet the bleeding laurel on thy beer but who shall wake to joy, through a long life of sadness, thy beloved and widowed wife, who now, perhaps, thinks how the green seas foam, that bear thy victorship impatient home. Alas! The well-known views, the swelling plain, thy laurel-circled home, endeared in vain, the brook, the church, those chestnuts darkly green, yon fir crowned summit, and the village seen, warders long sweep of woods, the nearer mill, and high o'er all, the turrets of Fonthill those views, when summer comes, shall charm no more him or whose weltering course the wild waves roar, enough, t'was honor's voice that awful cried, glory to him who for his country died, yet dreary is her solitude who bends and mourns the best of husbands, fathers, friends, oh, when she wakes at midnight, but to shed fresh tears of anguish on her lonely bed, thinking on him who is not, then restrain the tear, O oh God, and her sad heart sustain giver of life, may she remember still thy chastening hand, and to thy sovereign will bow silently, not hopeless, while her eye she raises to a bright futurity, and meekly trusts, in heaven, thou wilt restore that happiness the world can give no more.